that's just a meme about how German people uh, love taking their trash to the trash bin. I guess it's clear. Hello everyone! I know that many of you have loved the first part where I've explained German memes. Many also asked to shoot the second part, so here I am today. Uh, if you missed the first video, you can find the link in the description. And so, no more words, let's get started! The first meme that we have is a car sign that says Langsam spielen der Kinder and that could be translated as uh, slowly playing children so we can understand that <laughs> it makes no sense and some punctuation marks are missing here so after the word langsam slowly should stand an exclamation mark or a comma so that would make sense and the text above says the kinder von heute sind auch nicht mehr die schnellsten so the kids today are not the fastest the second meme is keine Lust auf Weihnachten mit den schwiegen Eltern? Dieser einfache Trick hilft. Uh, so here we can see the uh, typical Covid test. Uh, and well, if you have no desire to spend uh, the Christmas with schwiegen Eltern, these are the parents of your husband or your wife. And so this small trick can help you. So it means that <laughs> you can kind of like draw a line and pretend that you have a Covid. Another meme is Definiere deutschen Humor What does uh, the German sense of humor mean? Ich werde jetzt in die Badewanne gehen I'm going to the bathroom Aber schwimm nicht so weit raus Not seem too far away <coughs> My parents tell me this joke often too And my parents German The next meme that we have Achtung! Vertrauen Sie diesen Dingen nicht Zuerst ziehen Sie sie an und dann lassen Sie sie nicht gehen. Attention! Do not trust the things. At first they attract you and then they do not let you go. So here we can see your bed, TikTok, Netflix and using perfect instead of preteritum. We have to admit that we are all not sane here. We are sinful. The next meme is Ich, neue deutsche Schimpfwörter and saying scheiße all the time <laughs> so i guess it's kind of clear uh, there are lots of not lots of but there are some swear words in german but i and many of you i'm sure are constantly using scheiße because well what can express emotions better than just saying scheiße all the time well i think i think there are no other words just Next meme that I've uh, chosen is uh, Hermann Hannes' house. And you can think like, what the actual fuck is going on here? Like, uh, who is Hermann Hannes? And I also didn't know, but I'm going to explain. So there is a German tongue twister. German tongue twister. And it sounds like this. Hinter Hermann Hannes' Haus hängen 100 Hemden raus. 100 Hemden hängen raus hinter Hermann Hannes' Haus. And that's kind of like the, the relation to this, to this picture, to this tongue twister. Like they are related, they are like together going. I don't know, I just found it kind of curious just, just to show you. We have the next one. That's the eraser. Not just a typical eraser that we all use. It's the one for really big mistakes. And the really big mistake here is the sentence Ich muss in die Toilette. Grammatically, it's correct. But, well, if you don't know, I'm explaining to you that when you say Ich muss in die Toilette, it means that you need to go exactly inside of the toilet. And it makes no sense. Well, it makes some sense, in a sense, but actually no. If you want to say the correct version of this sentence, you should say Ich muss auf die Toilette. Yeah, just, just uh, a small German lesson for you right now. Learning from memes, as you know, and we are gain weiter. So here we can see the next meme. Ich will mit meinem Kätzchen rum, rum, rum um die. Uh, we can see the mistake here, but uh, the meme is Ich will mit meinem Kätzchen rund um die Uhr sein. I want to play with my cat 24-7. So this expression, rund um die Uhr, means kind of like the whole day, 24 hours. 
and the face of mine gets him it's just <laughs> we all can relate when we are doing our homework or when we have to write our thesis it's just my personal pain right now it doesn't matter the next meme is a little bit local uh, but i tried to figure it out so there are these buns and uh, people from Berlin and Bayern do not really agree on how they should be called and people from Berlin call them Pfannkuchen and people from Bayern call them Kapfen. But all the other federal lands call them just Berliner. And like, what's the problem? What's the problem Berlin Bayern? <laughs> Tell us. What's wrong with you? Why not just call them Berliner? It's easy. It sounds, it sounds pretty good. Like. I don't get it. I don't get it. Do you get it? I do not. The next one is really pretty dumb, but I loved it. So, mein Therapeut, bei Bock ist nicht real, bei Bock kann dir nicht wer tun. Und der bei Bock ist das, das Animal. Your therapist tells you that this creature that's called bei Bock cannot hurt you. And it does not exist. But this creature is... So what's the meme about? So Bayerbock is the second name of the new political leader in Germany. And it sounds exactly like Wer and Bock. Wer is Wer and Bock is a goat. So the next one is a street poster that says Warum Wein nur trinken? Uh, why do we have only drink wine? And here exists Wein Aufstrich. Aufstrich is a paste, like it can be honey, jam, or whatever then you that you put on your bread when having a breakfast and some people have created the jam with wine or the perfect jam literally it's kind of like just a really a really curious case for god's sake for real really thank you some people have created a special bag uh with the definition of this word and it's richtig geile Scheiß, womit ich mir bei der Arbeit in Kognito einen reinstellen kann. It means that you can take this Wein Ausstrich with you when you're working and no one will get to know that you're like drinking during the working process. The next one is just really simple. So, the Mülleimer, uh, Mülleimer house. Ah, the trash bin, yeah. So, the trash bin tells you thank you for your trash, and all Germans are like, bitte schön. That's just a meme about how German people uh, love taking their trash to the trash bin. I guess it's clear. The next one that we have are the words that are really, really difficult to pronounce. There are three of them. Ich hatte Unrecht, aber so. The second one. Ich brauche Hilfe, I need help. And the third one is, attention, Grundstücksverkehrs. Genehmigungszuständigkeitsübertragungsverordnung. I really hope that I've that I've read it correctly. And what does it mean? So the translator is going to help me. So the literal translation of this word <laughs> is real estate traffic permit transfer of responsibility regulation. Here is another meme. Sollte man sagen, um wie Muttersprachler zu klingen? So, what do you need to say in order to sound like a native speaker? There are four options. He, that's clear. Kras, like cool, great. Uh, hast du Bock? An alternative version of uh, hast du Lust? So, do you want to do something? But more like, more German. And Kohle. Kohle is a slang word for Geld, money. The next meme that we have is a linguistic one. So das Substantiv mit der richtigen Form des Adjektivs im Genitiv. The noun with the right form of the adjective in Genitiv and S am Ende des Substantivs. So uh, this S at the end of the noun that all people, I, you, so all of us tend to forget. That's why we use Dative instead of Genitiv. The last but not least meme for today is you can see the announcement for a test, for a schnell test uh, for a COVID, uh, and it says heute hinten, so today from behind. We all know how it sounds literally, and the text above says us that it's too much 
um, it's really too much so <laughs> I guess it had to mean something like you should like enter the building from the behind not from the main entrance something like this but we have what we have and well the literal translation is like this we can do nothing about it and the last meme for today is just a really normal and kind of meme. So, endlich gibt es in Bussen und Bahnen spezielle Sitzplätze für alle, die bei Oma zum Essen waren. So right now and finally there are the special seats in buses and trains for all people who had eaten by grandmother. So that's all for today. I really hope that you've enjoyed or even learned something new about German, about German culture, some new words or whatever. It's really enjoyable to film videos like this. If you like this video, if you liked uh, the memes that I've shown you, so you like, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below what's your favorite meme as usual. Uh, if you have some other suggestions or advice, so I'm really welcome and I'm waiting for you in the comments. So yeah. Have a good day, have a great new year, by the way. And yeah, so see you soon, stay safe, stay tuned and bye!